Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another DJI Mavic Mini video. And in this video, I'm gonna be checking out how accurate the DJI Mavic Mini's return to home accuracy is. Now this is something that honestly a lot of other YouTubers have already done, so I do wanna point that out. I'm not just trying to copy them, but so many people have left comments on my videos to check this out that I just feel like I've gotta do it myself here on the channel. That's likely stemming from the fact that back in the day, I also did a similar test with the Phantom 3 standard, and that was off by a couple of meters. So with the Mavic Mini having GLONASS and GPS positioning, it's got more satellites to connect to, so that might lead to it being a little bit more accurate. So this video is gonna be short, simple, and easy. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. In order to keep results consistent, I'm gonna be taking the drone out 400 feet and at a 100 foot height. And that's just simply because I'm gonna set the return to home height to 200 feet, so it'll have to go up first, come back, and then land. So in order to get that set, let me go quickly and adjust that return to home height. As you can see, I've already got it at 137, but let's put it up to 200, 200.1 feet. And now all I gotta do is fly away. So to start off, I took off directly from the center of that landing pad right in the middle of that H. So when it lands, it should be pointing north and it should be landing in the center or close to the center of that. Alrighty, so now that I am at a 100 foot height and around 400 feet away, I'm going to initiate return to home. And for those who don't know how to do that, there are two ways to do it. The first way is to tap the button on the app itself over on the left hand side, which has an H, and then you click on return to home. You gotta press and hold and it will begin returning to home. After you've done that, it'll start returning to home. I'm gonna cancel it because the second way to do it is to go and press and hold the button here on the controller. You have to press and hold and then it will begin returning to home this way as well. That's usually the way that I prefer to initiate return to home. And as you can see, it is choosing to go up first because that's typically what return to home does. So then it avoids all obstacles. It'll go up to that 200 foot height first and then it will begin returning to home. I'm not going to touch the controls whatsoever as far as controlling it unless it requires me to do so, but usually it shouldn't require that. Right now I would say it's aimed about six feet off from where it should be, so we'll have to see how accurate it is. Not sure if it will move that way or not. It is getting moved a little bit. So it says area under aircraft is unsuitable for landing, so if that ever happens, you just gotta click okay and then you can land it yourself. And if I'm just pulling straight down to where it would have landed, there you go. That is where it landed. And I would say this right here is about probably within three feet. I would say that's about three feet of where it landed. And as far as positioning went, it is at a different angle than where it took off from. That is something with newer drones like the DJI Mavic Air 2, which has like precise return to home. And if you wanna see that in a future video, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. But just to make sure that that's not a fluke, I'm gonna take off again and perform this test again two more times. So we'll see how it does best out of three. So let's put this back on the center of the pad facing the direction north and it is there in the center now. So once again, I'm gonna take off and the way that I'm taking off is just the CSC command. Taking off and go straight up and turn around. Go back to where I was before. All right, I'm now back out to where I was before. Let's initiate return to home once again and see how accurate it is this time. I would like to mention that the drone is connected to about 13 to 14 satellites right now. So it has a quite decent amount of satellites that it's connected to. There are times where you got more than that and there are times where there's less, but I would say around 14 and 15 is an average amount of satellites to be connected to. So it is landing once again and it's positioned sort of in the same location that it was at before. As far as the angle goes, in the direction it's pointed towards, it is pointed kind of northeast once again. Um, I think that has to do with the location that you come from because it just points directly home from where it came. Now this time, wow, look at that. It may land on the pad. Okay, once again, it thinks the area is unsuitable for landing. 
I don't know why it does that. It does that a lot for me with the Mavic Mini. The downwards facing sensors just don't like the ground for some reason. Mostly at times where there isn't too much sunlight and it can't see very well. Usually during the day where it's bright sunlight, it does fine, but right now not so much. So I'm just gonna pull directly down without moving anything else. Let's see where it lands. Look at that. That is pretty accurate. That's about only a foot off this time. And as you can see, it is turned at a different angle, so it's not directly pointed north, but that's fine. The accuracy is what's more important. If you look here, this is where it landed. So that's pretty good. Now one more time, let's put it there. And now to the third takeoff, this one will be the last one from this location. And just to make sure that it's not learning that specific location and just getting really good at landing there, I'm gonna move the helipad or the drone landing pad over a little bit and then see if it can land at a new location just as well. So as you can see that time, that was a pretty good landing, I gotta say. I would be very happy with that if I was somewhere where I was worried about its surroundings and how accurate the return to home is. Return to home is just one of those things where you don't use it too much, but when you do use it, you want it to work well because if it doesn't work well, then you may be out of drone. Return to home attempt number three. Something different that I did this time is I went out at a different angle, so we'll see how that affects its landing angle. I'm assuming that it's probably gonna be landing northwest pointed that direction this time just simply because it comes directly home and it doesn't really worry about spinning but we'll have to see how this goes see if it corrects itself there at the end like it did with the last one it's a bit more sunny this time let's see if it can do the landing by itself nope area unsuitable for landing this time once again it looks like it'll be a little bit off but that's really not that big of a deal. Considering it's only off by about two feet, that's really not bad at all. Between all of these landings, the fact that it's only off about three feet in any given direction is pretty phenomenal. So like I said, I'm now gonna move this landing pad to a different location. So I'm gonna go and move it over. Let's put it right on top of this snake. People always are asking about the snakes. They're fake snakes for those who are worried about them being real snakes. I promise they're not real. They're just to scare away birds. So moving this over here. All right, so I'm out now for location number two, test number one. And I'm not gonna waste your time by showing you flying out and back every single time. So here's just a quick succession of how these landing attempts go. Now this one is about the most inaccurate any of the tests have been this far. It's actually behind the camera. So pulling just directly down on the stick. Wow, that one's off by quite a bit. That one's off by at least five feet. Wow, okay. So moving locations does affect it a little bit. Maybe it learns locations that are frequently flied back to in a single flight. Let's just put this again and do test two and three. Ooh, will it land for itself the first time? Whoa. Wow, it's gonna land for the first time. It still required confirmation, but as you can see this time, once again, the difference is about two to two and a half feet as far as the distance goes from center. If it lands, it may go right onto the camera. So let's land this final test right where it came to. There you go, once again, about four, probably five feet off from its original position. And because I flew that direction rather than from that direction, it is landing in the direction it was facing when it was returning to home. So that is confirmed as far as that goes. So there you have it. There is how accurate the DJI Mavic Mini's return to home function is. Now, it's not 100% accurate. As you could see, the closest it ever was was about a foot off, which is pretty phenomenal, but that only did happen one time. Most of the other times it was within three to four feet, I would say. So even with that knowledge, I mean, that is pretty good for a return to home feature. Considering the Phantom 3 standard, when I tried this out a couple of years ago, was off consistently about seven to eight feet. This is pretty good. So I do have to say I was a little surprised there. I mean, I know it has more GPS satellites connected to it, but it doesn't have the downwards facing sensors capability of having like an exact 
landing. So considering it was able to get that close is pretty awesome. Just to add, if you're interested in picking up a landing pad like this, I will be leaving some links to purchase those down below. They will be affiliate links, but that helps support me and this channel at no additional cost to you. So consider purchasing from those if you want one of these yourself. So with that being said, once again, if you wanna see a video similar to this one around the Mavic Air 2, because that does have the new Smart RTH, then make sure to let me know down in those comments below. But otherwise, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below, as well as subscribing for future videos like this. If you wanna watch my last video, that should be right over there, and some random video should be right down there. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.